you as well. How's life? <laughs> now, 4 a.m. <laughs> <I'm sleepy>. 4 a.m.? <laughs> yes. What are you doing? <laughs> go to sleep. Yeah, very sleepy. <laughs> I know. It's you, you should uh, go to sleep soon. Yeah. After this class, maybe. Mm-hmm. Cool. Why in the class? <laughs> then I, I get sleepy more. I'll go to bed. <laughs> Yeah, sure, no problem. So just let me know. You don't have to. Uh, don't worry about it. If you leave suddenly, I'll, I'll know that you went to class or that you went to sleep. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, no problems. Um, uh, your arm feels better, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. That's great. And when are you? What's your? What are your plans for tomorrow on Monday morning after you wake up? Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. Ah, tomorrow is already today. <laughs> oh, that's what I meant. Yeah. Monday, what you, Monday yeah. morning. What will you do later today then? Ah, at the first I need to go to that clinic again. Uh -huh. And are they going to remove your bandage maybe or? Yeah, the uh -huh. Italian restaurant as usual. <laughs> nice, nice. And the Italian restaurant after that. Routine. <laughs> are you gonna grab any gelato? Mm hmm. Yeah. They already prepared something for me, so I need to go to Italian oh, that's, restaurant. That's great. That's great. Is it is it close to your home? Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, very. This close. restaurant. About ten minutes by foot. Uh huh. Fantastic, mm -hmm. fantastic, awesome. Uh, and uh, one second, Heidi. I'm sorry. I'm just sending this. Mm -hmm. Um, so ten ten minutes away by email uh, by foot, and um, or on foot. You can say by foot or on foot. Um, when do you think you will be fully? When do you think they'll remove the bandage completely? Remove everything. Everything will be great. Oh no, I uh, bandage. Yeah, only bandage. But I think we needless. Mm -hmm. The bandage is kind of needless. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Only bandage. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't have any cut, so mm -hmm. only inside bone got cut, a broken. Then, but uh, skin is uh, not cut, so I can remove it. Uh huh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That's that's good to know. And uh, what about? I was thinking about the other. So. Still a one month left before you start all of the the New Year celebration work, right? So this mm -hmm. one month, does anything happen in this one month in Japan, the November, December period? Mm -hmm. Is there are there any big celebrations or vacations for people? I don't think so, right? In Japan, no celebration so far. Mm -hmm. um, 23rd uh, next month, December is the uh, Emperor's birthday, so mm -hmm. it's a holiday. Emperor's birthday is the 23rd. Okay, yeah. and then Christmas is the twenty fifth, and then yeah. New just Year's is <laughs> just before Christmas Eve. Yeah, and then December thirty first is New Year's Eve, and then yeah, January first is New Year's. Mm -hmm. So it's a busy time. Are there is there is it a big shopping time right now in Japan? Lots of sales. Ah, Lots of no. Shopping. Maybe uh, in the New Year's Day uh, after New Year's Day, the sales will mm -hmm. start. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. That's that's great. There are um, there are some few uh, there are a few Japanese places. Yesterday, when I was traveling to San Francisco, I went to San Francisco, and the 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 weather was absolutely gorgeous. I mean, when we saw the Pacific Ocean, we went on top of a mountain, and we were driving down, and we we turned the car right, and yeah. as soon as we turned the car, we saw the Pacific Ocean. This magnificent ocean, right? Yes, yes, yes. And the sun was just the sun was falling on the ocean, and the the, the brightness yes, of the yes. water was incredible. And yeah, San Francisco is a very beautiful city. Yeah, and right near the that place, near the Golden Gate Bridge, and near some of those other areas, mm -hmm. there are a lot of Japanese, oh, yeah, Japanese restaurants. I think so. Yeah, we wanted to go to a restaurant called La Volcano, uh, and it was a Japanese style restaurant. And they were they sell Japanese curry. Mm -hmm. I I never had Japanese curry before. Is it 
What kind of food? What kind of food is it? You are professional of curry. I know, I know. We have Indian curry, right? I mean, uh, is it is it common? Because even in the United States, we don't see Japanese curry. Honestly, mm -hmm. they they sell. For example, let me show you the or let me share the recipe with you because uh, not the recipe, the the menu with you because I am so. I was so surprised by the food because I didn't think Japanese people ate curry. You know, but this was the restaurant. Britain brought curry to England, right? Uh, yeah, so, I think so. They brought it. From, yeah, I think. England, uh, the Britain developed the curry, like uh, that way. Uh huh. And so the soup stock mixed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they say they say katsu, katsu. Katsu is a uh, fry. Katsu means fry, okay. That's so interesting. Because here, from what I was looking at, katsu, they use the word katsu as a way of describing... Uh, katsu curry. Yeah, katsu curry. Everything from yeah. katsu curry. Yeah. It's very it's interesting. Delicious. For us, I don't know for you. <laughs> I, we ended up not going to this restaurant. I want to go maybe maybe another day. Uh, but... Uh, uh, this today I didn't go, or yesterday I didn't go here because I just didn't have um, uh, I didn't have a need to go, so I just. But maybe you can't eat it, right? Because uh, if it has, if it has, beef, if it has, beef, beef is okay. If it's uh, pork, I can't have pork. And yeah. Cut is a pork. Oh, some cuts was pork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't have pork if it's pork. But if it's chicken, that's the best. Really, mm -hmm. maybe if there's chicken curry of some kind, but the menu says, for example, chicken karaage. That's a sandwich, though, actually. Karaage is a sandwich. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Oh, fried chicken. Okay, Japanese okay. Taste the soy sauce. Soy sauce, yeah. Cool, very interesting, Heidi. Yeah, there are these interesting restaurants all over San Francisco that are. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Absolutely. Uh, hey, Muhammad, how's it going? Fine, fine. How are you? Good, good, good. Hey, welcome to class, Muhammad. I think this is your first time in in this class. Are you? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Welcome, welcome, that's welcome. Right. Thank you very much. Thank Where are you from, Muhammad? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Awesome, awesome, fantastic. Welcome. Yeah. Ahlan wa sahlan. Alaikum salam, alaikum salam, Good to see you. Good to see you. I uh, I was born in uh, the city of Najran, actually, so in the south of your country. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how how many years you uh, did stay in Saudi Arabia after uh, you born? I think just three years. Three years. Oh. Just three years, and then I moved to the United States. So. I see. I, I see. I've lived here since then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you, you must know some Arabic. Uh, a little bit. Mish koyes. Mish koyes. Very little. Sure, sure, yeah. Very little. Sure, sure, yes. <laughs> but, uh, what part of Saudi Arabia do you live in, Mohammed? Uh, Jeddah. You know Jeddah. Jeddah? Uh huh. You been that city? Yeah, I've been to Jeddah before. I mean, when I was younger, when I, I remember photos and pictures yeah. and things like that. But it's yeah. nice. Yeah. Is still, is still your parents in uh, Saudi Arabia? No, no, they all live. They all live here also. We all live together. Yeah. I, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. It's nice a, it's to a, meet. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Absolutely welcome. So, Heidi, our our colleague, just uh, she was very sleepy. It's 4 a.m. in Japan. So I guess for this class, Mohammed, it's just me and you. Uh, yeah, okay. So so we'll get started. Um, and today we are going to be talking about um, articles in English, what we use articles, how we use articles, and what articles are, right? So yes. okay. in, in the general sense, right, the word article actually has two meanings in English. It can be, it can be something that we read, like a newspaper article. It can be some kind of a magazine article, right? Those are all different types of articles. But in the sense of grammar, article actually means... Uh, three types of three words actually are considered articles in English, right? So these three words are the or the, depending on how you want to pronounce it, a and at, right? So the or the, a, I'm sorry, a and an, I'm sorry, not at, my apologies, a and an, 
right? And there are interesting ways that we use these these and articles that sometimes can be confusing because there are different rules as to how we use them, and other times they they follow the rules very perfectly. So it's a challenge with English that sometimes the rules that we use are not always followed, and we have exceptions to the rules all the time, right? So to to begin, also, and we're going to be talking about travel, right? So I wanted to ask you, Muhammad, what do we, what are some of your daily habits? You know, when you when you travel, for example, what are some of the things that you do when you travel? I mean, let's maybe let's think about the last time you went outside of Jeddah. You went to Riyadh. Yeah. You know. Yes. Usually, when I go, you know, and it's different from my routine in in, in my house here in Jeddah, I mean, uh, regional uh, destination. But when I go outside, you know, you really want to enjoy yourself. So. Uh, first of all, you sleep and you wake up whenever you wake up. You know, you wake up maybe in the noon time or later. Then after, or, or maybe early in the morning, what I'd like to have, you know, after the f I pray the fajr time. Sure. Then sure. I, I I go I have breakfast in the hotel. Then after that, you know, I go I have uh, also I sleep for until the noon time. Then after I pray al dhuhr al asr to, together. Then I go out. For mm -hmm. shopping, as example, uh, then I go. I like uh, if I've been in Asia, I'd like to go to, to that food massage. You know mm -hmm. that reflexology. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I love it. Yeah. Then, then uh, after that, uh, I can um, uh, go for shopping for a while. Then I take my family. We go to a restaurant like this. Yeah. And, yeah. But uh, usually at the night, you know, we don't go uh, that much, you know, after 12 or something, because uh, we don't like to go to this course or run it at these places. Sure, 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 absolutely. Yeah, I think yeah. especially when you travel with your family, it's important to, yeah. especially with children, right? When I was, uh, yeah. I, I was in Istanbul three months ago, roughly three months ago, and I saw a lot of people from Saudi Arabia, from, from you know, from from the Emirates and uh, they had families and they would go I think they had a very similar schedule they they enjoy shopping a lot yeah uh, they would they would love to go shopping so I saw them in the in the shopping and I saw them at the at the big electronic stores also they, they like to see electronics and and also the children were you know running around playing in the in the shopping center so yeah it's th those are th those are great great things to do when you travel and what we do when we travel, we don't really change. We we, we change our habits to be more fun, right? Uh, because we don't have work, we don't have you know, as many responsibilities. That's, yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. Because you are going to enjoy your vacation, you know. Yeah. You want to yes, you want to get uh, as they say, the, every minute, you know, you just you didn't waste it. <laughs> Absolutely. That's enjoying yourself. Absolutely. No, that's awesome. Same for me. Same for me. I, I try to do the same thing. Uh, so seems like, Mohammed, you have a very good understanding of articles. When you were giving us your, and you're giving the example, you were doing a very good job. So I, I will focus on articles for maybe 10 minutes, give you some examples. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me as we have the class. And then um, at the end, you know, we will review and then we can go and talk about the article. Um, which uh, you know is about is about travel in general. So when we use the or when we use the in English, right? We are talking about things that are generally known to people, right? Uh, in Arabic, we use al a lot, right? Really, it's the same idea. Al kitab, the book. You know, I mean, it's the same same understanding that if it's known to somebody, if it's a noun, you know, you you say al kitab, everybody knows. Okay, you're talking about a book. You know, yeah. you don't you don't need any description, right? Same thing in English. You know, the book, uh, the car, the school, you know, right? Any noun really, or anything that is known to people, we can use the. So, uh, also we use the if we are talking about something that is introduced in a conversation. For example, you are telling me about somebody, and you can say, "Then the man told me," you know. Mm -hmm. You know, Farhan or you know, Muhammad, what did you do, right? Then the man told me. So you didn't tell me about this man before. You are introducing him in the conversation. So you can say, then the man told me. Then the oh, woman told. Yeah. So that's the second way. 
And also, and then there are a lot of very specific examples of when we use the. And this, I think, is, is kind of the most important part of the lesson, right? When we are talking, for example, about classes of different people, when we are talking about the rich people, the poor people, the sick people, the young people, the old people, right? Yeah. So these classes, yeah, these classes we use the a lot, you know. Um, sometimes in English you hear people say, the old and the young do not understand each other, right? Yeah. The older generation does not understand the younger generation. So very similar idea, very similar idea. And we, whenever, if we can think of a map and all of the different places on a map, many of the many of those items we use articles. For example, geography. You know, think about the oceans, right? So the Pacific Ocean, the Indian Ocean. You know, the the Arabian Sea. You know, the Red Sea, right? All of these areas of the world that we can find on maps. Many of them, oceans and seas, rivers. You know, the Nile River. The, yes. uh, the Euphrates River, yeah. We use a lot of these examples. With all of these names, we use the, or the, the Euphrates, the Nile, right? And yeah. Yeah. also in the, same, in the same understanding, Muhammad, when we look at large areas that have, for example, in, in the United States we have the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes are five very large lakes uh, between the United States and also Canada. So for some specific areas, we can say the Great Lakes, right? I see, um, I see. Yeah, but otherwise, besides that example, lakes are actually, we don't use the before lakes. So you can say uh, Lake Baikal, for example, in Russia or um, in the United States, uh, the Great uh, uh, Lake Michigan, Lake Erie, many different lakes. We don't use them, we don't use the in front of lakes, in front of single lakes. But if it's a group, then we can use the. Right. Yeah, the Great Lakes, like this in the States, yeah. Exactly, exactly, fantastic. And then if we look at the mountain ranges of the world, right, so once again, thinking about geography. Lots of times when we think about articles, we think about geography. So the Hejaz, for example, in western Saudi Arabia, right, um, yes. Yes. The, yes. the Himalaya mountains of, between India and China, um, yeah. the Andes Mountains in South America, whatever the case might be. And for deserts, the Rubal Khali in Saudi Arabia. You know, I mean, you guys yes. have a lot of you guys have a lot of deserts, yeah. uh, especially near Najran. Najran was near uh, Yemen, so we had the big deserts east of Najran. You know, that's right. Uh, exactly. So those kinds of areas, forests, large forests. You know, if you have uh, the Black Forest, for example, in uh, in Europe, I think in Germany, the Black Forest. Um, even types of Larger yeah. areas, right? Like the Arabian Peninsula, right? Yeah. Things that you can label on a map, find on a map. Many times we use uh, the. And then also, if we are talking about the official name of a country, okay? So the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not just saying Saudi Arabia, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, that's the official name. Mm -hmm. We have to use the, right? The People's Republic of China, you know? The United States of America, yeah. Those are all great examples. And last but not least, last but not least, when we look at a map and we see, for example, the imaginary lines that are running across the world, for example, the equator. The equator mm -hmm. goes right through the middle of the Earth, right? And um, the international date line, right? The international mm -hmm. date line separates Japan and Alaska and it goes all the way down the Pacific Ocean, right? Yeah. It's the same idea. So, any questions, Mohammed, about any of these uses of the word the or the when we use them in English? No, no questions. No questions. Awesome. So, we will go to then, I'll discuss the difference between a and an, right? And then after we've discussed the differences between that, we'll see if we have any questions. And actually, before we move on, Mohammed, I want to ask you, could you give me an example of a sentence using the in any sentence you want. Okay, I could say the. Uh, okay, I can say the 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 airplane uh, the airplanes are beautiful uh, or, or beautiful. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. The airplanes are beautiful, yes. right? I was yes. I was at the airport and 
Yeah, and I saw the airplanes were nice. Yes. Yeah, yes. fantastic. So you can use you can use as many types of examples. Right there, the is such a versatile word in English. We can use it for anything really. I I was at the mall. I was at the store. I saw the car. I saw the person. Yeah, absolutely. Great, great. So when we focus on a and an, right? These two specific types of examples, right? A is when we use a, we are saying that we are talking about first. First of all, the noun that follows a must start with a consonant, right? Cannot start with a cannot start with a vowel, so it has to start with a consonant. And we use a when we are talking about something more specific, something that is not not known to everybody. For example, you know, I saw a car. I saw a blue car, right? Yes. You're you're, ta you're talking about a specific blue car, right? I have no idea. Maybe you saw it on the street. Maybe you saw it at the mall. I don't know, right? So specific things we use a, right? I saw a blue car. She bought a new uh, dress. You know. I, I uh, saw the moon like this, you know, because it's something. I saw the moon. Yeah, but the moon is something we know, right? The moon, yeah. if you say the moon, we can all imagine, oh, okay, yes, he's talking about the moon. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Exactly. But A is when we are talking about things that we may not know, just generally. It's a very specific idea, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So that's the, and then an is just the, what we use, an is A's partner when we have a noun that starts with a vowel, right? So in English, we have A, E, I, O, and U. These five letters are the vowels. So let me just quickly write these down. Vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. Right. If a if a word begins with these vowels, and there's one ex there's one exception, but if if a word yeah, if a word generally begins with these vowels, then we use an. Then we right? have to use an. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. So for example, an airplane. Right. Um. I saw an airplane uh, taking off from, you know, Jeddah Airport, whatever, right? I saw an airplane take off, right? So it's a very, it's a very, it's a very, we're not talking about anything, uh, uh, we, we're, we are not talking about something that is general. We are talking about a specific airplane that you saw, right? Yeah. So I saw an airplane, yeah. And the one exception to the rule is when we have the vowel U, okay? When we have the vowel U, there is a difference because sometimes we use A and sometimes we use an. And it depends on the pronunciation of the word. So mm -hmm. if, the, if the word that starts with U, and if the sound begins with a U sound, for example, university, right? Yeah. Yeah. Universal, unicorn, whatever, many types of words, uniform, right? If it has that U sound at the beginning, then the we use A, we don't use an. Mm -hmm. Right? So we, we don't say I went to an university. I say we say I went to yeah, a university. university. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's the difference, right? But there are many other words in that begin with U that don't have that U sound. And the best the best thing the best way I remember is for example umbrella. Right. Yes. I, I took an, an I, umbrella. I, we have to say an umbrella. Fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. We have. I, we we say an umbrella. And uh, um, what is another one? Maybe an umpire. Maybe in in baseball. You know, yes. we have umpires and umpire. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's the same idea. An umpire, umbrella. Uh, many types of these words we use. Um, we use a instead of and if the sound of the u is that. Uh, ah sound, right? So yeah. kind of like this. Any questions on that, Muhammad? No questions. Okay, fantastic. Would you mind giving me an example then of a sentence using a, and then one more using an? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, I, I saw an, uh, a nice girl. <laughs> I saw a nice girl. Huh? <laughs> fantastic. Or I nice. saw a beautiful girl. Like I saw this. a beautiful girl. Uh -huh. And, and, and uh, for uh, uh, A-N, a I mean, uh, I, I did carry or, or uh, I did carry my umbrella, an, an umbrella. Uh-huh, fantastic. I carried an umbrella. 
Yeah. Right? Because it was raining maybe outside. Right? Yeah, it was raining sometimes. Who knows? Especially in the Asia. Yeah, Asia, Asia. they have. <laughs> yeah. How, 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 far, how far have you traveled, Mohammed? How many countries have you visited, if you don't mind me asking? You know, a, a lot. A lot of countries. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I've been working for Saudi Airlines, you know. Oh, and, wow. Oh, yeah, okay. so, so I did travel to too many, too many countries. That is especially, awesome. Especially in the Far East, you know. In the Far East, we visit the Philippines and uh, yeah, we visit Malaysia and uh, also uh, Indonesia. Uh, we go to that country. Uh huh. Those are, uh, so uh, Sing Singapore, I've been to Singapore. And, uh, Saudi Airlines, you guys Taiwan, have just. Yes. I've been to Taiwan. Sky team, right? Sky team. Yes. Yes. I've been to Taiwan. Okay. I've been to Hong Kong. Lately, you know, I've been to Hong Kong because I never been there. But I had something like uh, short, short. It uh, was uh, 34 hours. <laughs> nice, nice. Are you are you a pilot? Do you fly? Yeah. That is awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> I've I've but always you... wanted to be a pilot, <laughs> but I didn't do it. You know the the reason I joined the the, the class is because I been away from my job for two years uh -huh. because I retired actually and uh, I make contract again with them. But when you stay for two years, maybe you start to forget or to lose the language because we don't uh, use it every day, and you, especially in our country between the family. I mean, they use this, the Arabic uh, always. Uh, they talk in Arabic. So, and, and, and at the airline, you know, you talk to too many different nationalities and they speak English. Absolutely. But when, absolutely. You, when you stop for two years, you find yourself that you, you are going to lose the language. So mm -hmm. this is why, you know, to refresh my language, also to refresh the grammar because a long time I didn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I can completely well, understand. Whenever I tra yeah. travel, I, I, I find the same problem. I mean, English I learned because I grew up in the U.S. I, it's my native language. I'm not going to forget it. But if I don't practice my language, or if I don't practice, for example, my parents' language or other languages, right? It's going to be a problem because uh, you'll, yeah. it's very easy to forget. Very easy to forget. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's great. I I have not spent any time in the Far East. That is. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it's 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 nice, especially if you go to Malaysia, you go to Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur is a nice place to visit. Yeah, I, I recommend it. And and if you go there, you go to tours. You know, they take you to uh, what they call it, uh, uh, shanting. It's it's a uh, it's like uh, mountains, and it's covered by plants mm -hmm. like this. And and uh, it has uh, big hotels up there. They have till free. They have uh, like. Um, like the Disney World, but mm -hmm. then small, small, mm -hmm. like this. A little bit smaller, yeah. And yeah. also, you know, Muslim countries, so it's good. You can eat all the food. Yes, yes. You eat halal, you know. Yeah, eat halal. Whenever you go to, to any place, you know. That's even 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 for the Chinese restaurant, you know, they tell you that this is halal and this is uh, not halal. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's awesome. They, it's, it's nice to see that, you know. And what's sad is, you know, people from many parts of the, of the Muslim world actually... I feel we don't have uh, people from South Asia, for example. My parents are from Bangladesh. Uh, they, we don't have a very strong idea of Southeast Asia, you know. So Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, you know, those areas. There are a lot of different cultures there: Muslim culture, Chinese culture, you know, yes. uh, Malay culture, different cultures. But uh, people don't really know about that part of the world. I think. When we look at the understanding of South Asia, South Asia ends with, you know, Bangladesh, Pakistan, India. It doesn't really look at the Southeast Asia as much, right? Yeah. And there's a lot of culture. I mean, it's it's a wonderful part of the world. I just, I I, I have to visit, inshallah. But but you know, too, you have to be careful when you go to Philippines because Philippines they use that ham too much. Every in every food they put. Uh, ham, ham. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they didn't tell you. Mm -hmm. if, yeah, if, you know. if, if, if you didn't ask, you know. The, so really, I, I don't feel comfortable when I go to Philippines, you know, or especially with the, about the food, you know. Yeah. But when I go to Malaysia and I go to Indonesia, no, it's uh, I feel comfortable. Absolutely. I was at 
I was at a Chinese restaurant a few days ago. I'm in California, so I was in a Chinese restaurant. And there are a lot of people here, a lot of different religions, a lot of Muslims also. And the restaurant near us was, was a completely halal restaurant. You know, everything was halal. But the store next door was a Chinese restaurant, and they didn't tell people that they put uh, pork in their, in their rice. Yeah. The rice. Right. So right. yeah, I, I was I was very surprised because the rice is rice. I mean, uh, yeah, they you know. they always they do it. You know, like this the Chinese. Yeah, yeah. You know, whenever to go to Chinese, you just ask them uh, or, or tell them, don't put any, uh, you know, ham on the rice. Make it plain or, or with vegetables only. No meat. Exactly. I don't exactly. want meat. Exactly. You have to be very specific about those things, yeah. You know, and and also want more things. It's uh, for about when you have that uh, steak. You know, uh, some places they put wine on it. Yeah, they, they do. Cook, they cook it with rye. So one guy he told me in India. You know, he told me about this. He said you have to be careful. You know, when you request this, they put on at the sauce and they, they put on that because they, they it will be cooked fast. You know, and it will yeah, be yeah. Um, like soft. You know. The, the meat. It's, it's very common here, extremely common. I mean, uh, they put wine with uh, seafood also. Sometimes they make fish with wine. Yeah. So, you know, fish normally, we don't ask about fish because fish is halal, you know, normally. I mean, shrimp and fish, we don't care. But sometimes, and now actually in a lot of cafeterias in the United States, because there are a lot of Muslims, there are a lot of Jewish people who don't eat pork, they actually now specifically write, you know, alcohol, fish with alcohol, you know. In small letters, they write alcohol. Yes, was used. it's it's good, yeah. It's good, yeah. So now it's much easier. But sometimes, if you're not careful, you get those you get those you yeah. know surprises. Yes, yeah. yes. Especially yeah. sometimes uh, we found this problem when we went to the states. You know, since 35 years we lived there for uh, almost 14 months. You know. Mm -hmm. Just to study the, uh, the flying, you know. Then, then uh, you found it sometimes in the cheese, you know. If you didn't read uh, what it, it contains inside, so so you eat it uh, easily, you know, that far. <laughs> and that. Uh, and imagine that my friend, they were going to uh, McDonald's every morning. He said, "Okay, there is a meat. It's very delicious, and so and so." So when I went there, I asked them, "What kind of meat is this?" They said, "It's ham." Oh, so I told him, they've been sorry. <laughs> I said, okay, listen, guys, whenever you go to any place, you ask him what kind of meat of this, is this. Absolutely. So it will not be. Yeah. Yeah, to, not be, to, not be uh, to not get to not get a surprise, <laughs> right? It's, 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 it's yes. bad. We don't, we don't want those yes. surprises. They've been eating for a week, you know, almost. <laughs> they didn't no know. Idea. They no idea. No <laughs> idea. Malish, malish. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. If they did it, if they did it without knowing, then there's no problem. You know, I mean, if if they had no yeah. idea, but we should ask. We should ask if we can, if it's possible. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, Mohammed, let's start taking a look at this article then, um, just to see what we can talk about when it comes to traveling habits. I think it's very. Can I join the chat? Uh, I, I see it when you write it down. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you if you yes. if you click on the, the left drive. side, there should be a. It's not uh, going to be Google, Google Drive. It's actually. The Colingo chat just below the Google Drive, you should see a button. Yes, yes. I, I, okay. You click that, yeah, and you should be able to get it. Fantastic, fantastic. Let's see if it opens up. Otherwise, I can also, I will also share the article here, um, so that we have the idea. Um, so, this is a, it's an interesting article, and we are going to be looking at uh, the idea of the article is what should we do and not do when we travel. Travel yeah. do and don'ts, right? So, well, there are some interesting things that I think if you, I mean, you're a pilot, I think you know this very well. That you know, you have to be careful. For example, when you eat, uh, different things, you need to be careful when you travel. Keep all of your belongings with you, things like that, right? So, let's take a look at that link, uh, Mohammed, and we will go actually to. We will call the. We will go to the first. If we go to the second page, actually, of that article. The first page doesn't really matter that much. And I'm going to screen share here so we have an idea. And OK. So travel etiquette, right? Travel etiquette, uh, do's and don'ts, right? So what should we do and what should we not do? So okay. the first one is saying how to cope with noisy hotel neighbors, right? Noisy neighbors. Yes, yes. 
Have you had this problem before, Muhammad? Yeah, you yes, yes. We had sometimes when we have early departure, and the other guys, <laughs> they have uh, girls in the other room, and they are putting the music uh, high, you know. Uh -huh. so the, we have to, we have to, uh, first, you know, you, I talk to the um, reception, I, to, I tell them about this problem, please, mm -hmm. go and tell this guy this and this and this. So yeah. they go and they, they tell them, sometimes they stop the music, sometimes maybe they go out, they do it somewhere else. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Right. If, yeah. if they want to dance to music, they can go to a disco, right? They don't have to do yes. it in a hotel. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. So right. they they do the same thing actually. This article says to do the same thing that you did, Muhammad. It says call the manager on duty. You can call yeah. the manager. You can call the receptionist, right? And yeah. you can also ask for earplugs <laughs> if you want. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. And they said don't take matters into your own hands. You know, don't try to approach the person. Yes. You know, Maybe he's drunk. You know, and they, he fight with you. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. We have a lot of crazy people, right? And yes. so that's number one. Let's look at this one. Uh, what to do when you order wine you don't like? Okay, maybe this won't affect us that much, but let's say if you order food that you don't like, right? Um, may, sometimes people are they feel nervous. You know, they they don't like uh, to tell people um, about food that they get that's wrong. For example, this lady she's saying this wine is zero, right? Just, you can ask somebody, right? You can ask somebody, speak up. You know, they're saying, speak up. Tell somebody, yes. I don't want this or I don't. Yeah. What do you do, Muhammad? What happens if maybe you, I mean, I think we talked about this, but when we get food that we don't like, we have to ask them to change it, right? Yeah, I called them. I called them. I said, please change it. I didn't request this food, you know. Exactly. Or, or, maybe, or maybe it smells bad or it's not good. Yeah, not good quality or whatever, right? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yes. So that they, pretty understandable. So they change it, you know. They change it, and sometimes they didn't add it to the to the bill, you know, because sometimes they do it. They, they add it. <laughs> they add the, the the one that that they brought. You know, it's not good. Yeah. They add it to your bill, you know. And I say, yeah, oh, you, you have know, to. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Exactly. Just basic, you know, customer service, right? Customer service yeah. is so important. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's important. And this one, you, you said you love getting foot massages, Muhammad. So this says how to cope with an aggressive masseuse, right? And so <laughs> yes. uh, somebody who's very aggressive. Did you ever have that where somebody was giving you a foot massage, but it was a uh, yeah, we have bad. that. But you know what they call it, uh, uh, reflexology. You know that foot massage. Uh huh. And um, sometimes they do it hard. They use uh, and they maybe you scream from that. So I said, please, please, slowly. Not that yeah. hard. <laughs> exactly, exactly. They do because yeah. some of the, especially in this example, for example, when you get a uh, back massage, right? The person yeah. actually stands on you. You know, like they they, they yes. stand on you and they use their feet to massage. Maybe they your break your, your your back. You know. So yeah. They, they, they cause you problem. Exactly, exactly. So once again, you know, we have to ask people if they're doing something wrong, we should tell them, please stop, you know. Um, mm -hmm. What about if you have a reckless taxi driver? What do you do? No, okay. Uh, reckless, uh, that's mean reckless taxi driver, it's uh, care, uh, careless? Careless, exactly, careless. Somebody who's yeah. careless is reckless, right? Driving like without yeah, following driving rules. Driving less, yes. Driving yes. like a... Or he drives fast, you know, sometimes. Yeah. So I think, please uh, slow down. Uh, we are not in hurry or something like this. Or please, uh, yani follow the rules. Don't go yeah. the, uh, the opposite direction or so and so. Otherwise, stop here and uh, let me go. That's exactly, exactly. If they don't, if they are refusing, then just say stop and I'm I'm done, right? Uh, I have to get out. Yeah. Yeah. And have you experienced any uh, careless, reckless taxi drivers, maybe in Saudi Arabia or outside? Yeah, here in Saudi Arabia, and, and uh, it was in Riyadh, and that guy is taking us to to the hotel. The hotel in downtown. It's far away. So so he was driving. Uh, fast and I noticed that he's not a good driver uh -huh. and when he go and he take the curve you know he take it uh, fast and he he looks that he's not controlling the wheel uh, mm -hmm. very good so I told him um, I, I found him really he, he at that time he was not sleeping well mm -hmm. so I said okay stop here so he stopped I said okay change place go to the other side he said what I said okay go there I will drive so I took wow. the car. 
I did drive wow. the car, you know. <laughs> wow. He said, okay, whenever you are sleepy like this, don't, don't ever drive the car. And what did he say? Was he angry at you or? No, no. He just, uh, because he was uh, really, you know, sleepy. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So I drive the car, I take the car, then I stop, I, say, I give him the key, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's re really nice of you, but, you know, in the United States, actually, we would not do that because, because of liability, <laughs> because of liability, yes. right? If I, if I crash yeah. the taxi, if I crash the taxi, then it's my, everything is my fault then, at that point. Yes. Yeah, yes. so yes. liability is a big thing, but, yeah. But here, you know, we are. I had to do it because we are in the in the midway. There is nobody that can stop to you, you know, and take you. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and, and uh, very seldom that you can find a, ta a taxi there. Yeah, yeah. So I, agree. I had to do it. Yes. You had to do it. You had no other option. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So okay, and this 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 guy, he's saying, do pay the fare. You know, you don't want to. If even if you don't like the taxi driver, you should pay the pay the man, right? And uh, just record the number, record the record the license plate number, right? Yes. And then yes. tell I maybe you the... can. Yeah, maybe you can tell maybe you can tell the person later. You know, maybe you can tell the the police or somebody or call the, his manager and say, yeah. listen, this was a bad driver. Yeah. Absolutely. And what about if you have a, an overzealous tour member? So this word overzealous, Muhammad, do you know what this means? No, overzealous is somebody who is always in, always asking questions, always excited, always you know, very very uh, excited person, never stopping to ask questions. So maybe you're on a tour, you know, like you're in Malaysia. Somebody in your group is just always asking questions, right? I mean, yeah. he's he's removing he's removing the uh, you know he's removing the enjoyment from the rest of the group. Uh, I see. Yes, right. yes, yes. What would yes. what would you do if there was a guy like that? He didn't give the that guy chance to to explain or or the others to listen what he's saying about you know some places. Exactly. Then, then I said, okay, please stop this, you know, because we are all uh, yani joining together. So so you have to keep quiet. So he can this this guy he can explain to us whatever he wants to say. You know. Exactly. Then ask him. Then ask him later on. You could ask him in the bus. Uh huh. Absolutely. Instead of removing the, you know, the fun, the enjoyment that everybody else is getting, you know, you ask them later. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Makes sense. Absolutely. And people, you know, it's difficult sometimes to deal with people because they don't understand that you are not being, that you don't want to be rude, right? I mean, they're just, they're just telling you. Uh, that sometimes people feel that you are being rude to them, right? Mm -hmm. You have yeah. to be. Sometimes we have to be very careful that how we say things to people yeah. because. If there are if there are people like this, then you know, always in somebody's face, then they might not be very aggressive people. Maybe they'll yes, yes. You know, you have to be careful. You, know, you have to be uh, careful. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, and let's look at just two or more of these. We we'll look at one one or two more of these. So if we have a a space hogging seatmate, right? If somebody if somebody is space hogging, space hogging means somebody who takes more room. Yeah, you know, just stays in his seat and won't move. You know, maybe it's 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 one seat, but the person just is not going to give you any room to sit down. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like anybody right. sit be beside him. You know, maybe yeah, some people like this. Him. You know, yes. Yeah, is it? Have you ever seen something like this before? Yeah. Yes. What did you do? A lot. <laughs> In this case, you know, if it's my seat beside him, I said, excuse me, uh, would you uh, give me space for my seat? And like mm -hmm. this, if he didn't uh, pay attention to me or ignore me, you know, then I talk to the, whatever it's, uh, air in the airplane or, or in the train, like this, I go, I talk to the, resp I mean, uh, the, the, the people there, they're responsible for this. So mm -hmm. just to, to, to talk to this guy, you know. Yeah, just explaining the things, you know, if it's a flight attendant, if it's a bus, you ask the bus attendant or somebody. That's else. right. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I guess it's, you know, most of these points, you know, it's mainly just common sense. You know, you don't want to say something that will hurt somebody. You have to be very careful. Um, let's see with this one. Hotel bill shock, okay? How to deal with hotel bill shock. So you stay at a hotel, you think the hotel is a good hotel, but when you get the bill... 
oh my god it's so much yeah. so much more money right yeah it's happened to me you know uh, this in Taiwan mm -hmm. and and that hotel he was cheating everybody like this you know really they, 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 they bought uh, extra meals that you didn't use or you uh, didn't eat you know uh -huh. and and sometimes they put uh, that uh, use um, uh, like dry cleaning I did you never use it you know mm -hmm. so so when we come and we read the check you find that a lot of money and you know imagine this guy what he's doing if one guy he cheat him from the I mean the the customers, mm -hmm. then he put the, the his bill on uh, in yours. Oh wow! And, and uh, yeah, and if we keep silence, he didn't review whatever there, so uh, he he fool you. Yeah, that's then, bad. You know, it's 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 such such dishonest behavior. Yeah, you know? that that's happening in that hotel only the the first hotel in the world. I see it like this. And how did you and guys then, resolve the problem? And, you... and all the, the, the crew, they were complaining. Uh -huh. I said, okay, so you go argue with him. He said, okay, this we didn't take it. You didn't you take it off the bill. You know. Otherwise, uh -huh. I'm, uh, I'm not going to pay for that. And if you, if you want, okay, you give me for, uh, as a, you know, bill if, uh, as a, when I go to the coffee shop. Then I have bill and I sign it. So show me uh -huh. my, my signature. Where is it? Uh -huh. So sometimes he cannot uh, find this uh, paper. So so I said, okay, so so we we'll drop it, just to cover his mistake. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, absolutely. I don't know. I I have never had this happen to me. I think now it's maybe less common, Muhammad, because we have all of the the e the e vouchers and everything is on the internet. Confirmation, you know, uh, but, reservations. But, but, but whenever whenever you go to to Asia, to be mm -hmm. careful with this, you know. Yeah, I I will be because even uh, it's true. You know, I I haven't visited Eastern, you know, Far East, East Asia. So maybe over there they have some problems with this. In the U.S., there's no question. I mean, if they they tell me your hotel is seventy five dollars full charge, pay with credit card, done. You know, خلاص, no no questions. You know, mm -hmm. uh, but in other countries, I think maybe yeah, they still have these problems, unfortunately. And let's look at this. Lad, this is the last one we'll take a look at. So, how to deal with food poisoning? Have you ever had food poisoning? Yeah, I had it. Uh, once it it was in Bombay. Oh, really, India? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I had it, you know, and and uh, once in uh, also Pakistan. But uh, uh, I found the problem that uh, if you didn't eat that uh, yogurt sometimes, because mm -hmm. mostly I found most of my friend when they eat uh, that yogurt, sometimes mm -hmm. they mix it with the uh, mint or uh, they mix it with something else. Mm -hmm. Then if it's uh, that, what it caused poison actually. Mm -hmm. So so I stop. I said I never eat there. Uh, yogurt, you know, uh, mm -hmm. and Alhamdulillah, I never had that poison. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. And I have one way. Yeah, uh -huh. I have one way we did uh, learn it from the others, you know, that if you go to any country and we don't want to um, catch disease from that country, so you better uh, bring uh, onion, request onion, and and lemon. Then squeeze uh -huh. the lemon on that uh, onion and eat that before you eat any any meal, you know. Then uh -huh. you will not uh, be boys. Wow, be wow. Be yes. You won't, yes. be, you won't yes. get onion yes. and lemon. But we also yes. need to take uh, take some toothbrush, toothpaste. The onion will make your breath smell yeah, a lot. Yeah, really. Yes, you could eat mint, you know. Uh, that After, just yeah. that, uh, the, the, the green mint. Just take mm -hmm. uh, some some of it. And then uh, you just uh, you know uh, eat it like the chewing gum, like mm -hmm. this. Then you uh, throw it out, and uh, it will take the you know that the onion uh, smell. The onion smell out of your mouth. Yeah, absolutely. I had no yeah. idea. Onions and lemon, and then eat eating whatever afterwards. Yes. Yeah. Oops, sorry. And then. Yeah. <laughs> on my, then, on my yes. phone. Yeah. Right. So uh, that's great. That's great. You know, I had no idea about some of this, uh, some of these tricks. But I think if you're a pilot, if you travel so much, absolutely, you have a lot more knowledge yeah. than me. We have to be careful yeah. because next day we have flight. We don't want to stuck there. You know. Absolutely. Because absolutely. It's, it's not easy for the airline sent crew at the, that yeah. uh, that time. You know. Also, you know, I think another thing, you know, sometimes I take the the small medicine, the small medicine for, you know, like a stomach ache. You can take that. Small medicine, just carry it, carry it with you, 
if you feel bad, maybe you're in the middle of the flight, you feel bad, you cannot go to the bathroom all the time, right? That's right. Uh, just a small medicine will keep you okay until you that's land or until you reach a bathroom on the ground or something like that. That's right, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I think in the, uh, it's, you know, stomach problems are really very uh, unfortunate problems for people because, you know, they cause so many problems, you know, I mean, uh, like diarrhea or, you know, in, yeah, in, yeah. indigestion. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's difficult sometimes when you have pain inside, uh, you like gases, it's inside uh, the stomach. Mm -hmm. So, and, uh, yeah, sometimes it's very difficult, you know, and uh, it's uh, really you suffer from that. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, Muhammad, you really understand the article. You understand everything that we talked about. It was it was great. I just I wanted to ask you just a few other questions. You know, um, how do how do you pack? I would I would love to know how how a pilot packs. When I pack, I pack very well. I pack one suitcase, clothes, and you know, toothbrush, toothpaste, shaving cream, all of that, and you know, soap, everything. But do you have a, a special uh, way that you pack or that you, you know, fix your bags? Yeah, usually, usually you, you look to everything that you, you need there. Uh, especially for us, you know, as a uniform, you know, we have to put one sh uh, shirt, you know, extra, and one trouser. Why? Because sometimes, you know, when you give it to the dryer, to I mean to the laundry, and maybe sometimes they delay it and you have early morning. So you could keep it, leave it there. Next time mm -hmm. you come and take it. That's why I mm -hmm. put uh, this. It's very important for me. Then I put. Uh, I looked uh, also. I put uh, like trouser, a uh, shirt to go for shopping. You know, I put my um, uh, exercise uh, clothes also. I put that um, uh, the shoes, the sport shoes. You know, mm -hmm. there a socks. What I need, I need to, uh, teeth brush, and I need that uh, everything that I need. Uh, I put it there. You know, and and even sometimes uh, we put like um, uh, as I told you, we take uh, lemon in case if we have poison or something like this. A little bit, you know. Uh, the th things I need uh, for for my iPhone, I put with uh, the charger there. Uh, sometimes I put adapter because you cannot use that one everywhere. You know, sometimes you find, yeah, you cannot. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah. So do you I have an international iPhone, Mohammed? Like when you travel, do you have an international iPhone or like SIM yes, card? Yes, I. Uh, yes, I have international uh, iPhone. That's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's, it's great. For me, I had to change my I had to change my SIM card when I went to the when I went to Turkey. Uh, for me, for me, I I prefer you know uh, to change it because uh, every um, when you call from outside, it's very cheaper than our country. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper than you know, uh, especially if you go to Asia, you have to take a SIM card. And and it's very really cheap there. But when you talk, you can. Um, it's it's cheaper than uh, I mean, uh, in the states or cheaper than in Saudi Arabia. So whenever you talk, you can use it, and it's cheap. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. That's very, very good to know. Yeah. And uh, if, you, if you go to, if you go to Malaysia also, it's very really cheap. Mm -hmm. And and you could use it, you know. You could call your country maybe three, four, five, six times by that one. It doesn't what? cost you maybe maybe ten. Uh, what they they are using rupee? I think they are using rupee. Yeah, rupee. Yes. Like yes. Yeah. So you, you it's ten ten ringgit. Some they they call it ringgit. Ringgit. So you're ten, right. Ten ringgit around thirty riyals, Saudi riyals. But uh -huh. you talk to your country. I talk to Saudi Arabia maybe six times by that one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow! Wow! That's amazing. Yeah. I had no idea it was that cheap. Honestly, no, uh, the most uh, cheaper place in the I mean in the world, uh, Malaysia, and uh, I mean uh, telecom. Nice, nice. And Mohammed, just last question for me. You know, in terms of just you know curiosity, what was the most beautiful country? What What is your favorite destination when you travel? Well, My favorite destination. Uh, I tell you, Kuala Lumpur. Mm -hmm. First and Number one. second uh -huh. and second, uh, Paris. Paris, really. <laughs> Number two. Second, but you know I like uh, Kuala Lumpur because it's clean country, very clean country, and uh, and and they are uh, modern in everything. You know, 
I mean, mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, the tre treatment wise, uh, most of them they are Muslim, you know, as 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 you know, and they have a lot of mosque there. You can mm -hmm. pray any any anywhere you go in the in the mall. You find uh, like a small mosque like this, and you pray, and and uh, the food you can eat uh, safely. Mm -hmm. You didn't care about uh, oh, I should tell them uh, not this and that. No and pork, that, yeah, all that. Yeah, the people they are nice there, except um, they have Chinese and they have uh, Indian. Yeah. Some of them they are they are cheating. They are cheating. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. the Chinese. Especially the Chinese. We should be careful of people who try to, you know, yeah. cheat and take advantage. But the advantage. Malaysian, the Malaysian, it's uh, their self, you know, mm -hmm. Malaysian nationality, mm -hmm. or I mean, the original people. They are very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Imagine that I took my family, and we went to that mountain, and it was vacation for us, 19 days like this. Mm -hmm. Then, then I, I, I forgot my suitcase in the car, and that guy, he was uh, uh, original. Uh, yeah, Malaysian. Mm -hmm. So I forgot there. It it has the passport inside. It has my money. Everything. You know, every, yeah. Everything. You know. Yeah. Then I uh, I been at the reception, and I forgot. I look to. Uh, so I uh, all of a sudden I found that guy is bringing my suitcase. Yeah. Honest. Honest people. Yeah. If, imagine if he was Chinese, or that. <laughs> I never see it. You know. Yeah, it's it's difficult, you know. Here, the first day, my my parents, when they landed in the United States, right, they told me the story. They said that they had no idea about the United States, right? They they were, you know, my my parents are both, you know, they're very very professional people, but they didn't travel in the United States before, so they land here and they were surprised. Uh, my dad didn't have uh, anything less than a one hundred dollar bill in his wallet. You know, he came maybe in, in Bahrain or something. He exchanged the money. And he just had one hundred dollar bills, maybe five one hundred dollar bills in his wallet, right? So, so we take the taxi to go from the airport. First time, first day in America, first hour in America. You know, yeah. my sister is one year one year old. I'm three years old. We're crying. I don't know. My, my mom in this nightmare. You know, she's yeah. trying to control us. And my dad went to the taxi driver and said to the taxi driver, you know, please, uh, we want to. This is the address. And the taxi driver said, "Okay, no problem." So he goes. We go in the taxi. We go. We we reach the destination, and my father gives him a just one hundred dollar bill. The the bill the the fare was maybe ten dollars, right? So the the taxi driver doesn't have that much change. Normally we don't have that much change. So he said, "Really, one hundred dollar bill?" My dad said, "I'm sorry, I just came here. You know, I I don't have any less than one hundred dollars." So the guy said, "Okay, wait, right?" He went to a store nearby. He exchanged the money and he came back and he gave my, my you know he gave my father the change, right? Yeah, very and, good. Yeah, they my parents were very surprised because they heard, yeah. heard you know American people sometimes they are very focused on money they don't yes, they're not yes, yes, they're yes, not yes. they're not honest you know all these other things but yeah you find good people everywhere I've seen you know and my parents yeah. were really very grateful for that absolutely Th that's right you know you yeah. find the good people you find the bad people bad people everywhere yeah, yeah unfortunately. Everywhere. Yeah. We have to be yeah. careful, right? Yes, yes. Well, well, Muhammad, Muhammad, it was such a pleasure to speak to you. I'm glad you were able to join this class. Uh, um, yeah, um, me too. Really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, it was great. And uh, inshallah, if you see any more classes that I teach, uh, I've, I, I've been teaching on Colingo for three months now. So um, you're yeah. always welcome. You're always welcome. Really? Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see you later. <laughs> but inshallah. sometimes, you know, I, sometimes uh -huh. I have... Soy sauce. So, so. Soy sauce, yeah. Cool, very interesting, Heidi. Yeah, there are these interesting restaurants all over San Francisco that are, yeah, that's what it seems like. Absolutely. Uh, hey, Muhammad, how's it going? Fine, fine. How are you? Good, good, good. Hey, welcome to class, Muhammad. I think this is your first time in, in this class. Are you? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Welcome. Welcome, that's welcome. Right. Thank you very much. Where are you from, Mohammed? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, awesome, awesome, fantastic. Welcome. Yeah. Ahlan wa sahlan. Alaikum salam, alaikum salam, Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> I uh, I was born in uh, the city of Najran, actually, so in the south of your country. Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. So uh, how how many years you uh, did stay in uh, Saudi Arabia? Uh, 
Uh, I think just three years. Three years. Oh. Just three years, and then I moved to the United States. So. I see. I, I see. I've lived here since then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you, you must know some Arabic. <laughs> little bit, mish koyes, mish koyes. Very little. Sure, sure, yeah. <laughs> sure, sure, yes. <laughs> but, uh, what part of Saudi Arabia do you live in, Mohammed? Uh, Jeddah. You know Jeddah? Jeddah? Uh-huh. You've been to that city? Yeah, I've been to Jeddah before. I mean, when I was younger, when I, I remember photos and pictures yeah. and things like that. But it's yeah. nice. Yeah. It's nice. Is still your parents in Saudi Arabia? No, no, they all live They all live here also. We all live I together. Yeah. I, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. It's nice a, it's to a, me. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Absolutely welcome. So, Heidi, our our colleague, just uh, she was very sleepy. It's 4 a.m. in Japan. So I guess for this class, Mohammed, it's just me and you. Uh, okay. So so we'll get started. Um, and today we are going to be talking about um, articles in English. What we use articles, how we use articles, and what articles are. Right. So. Yes. Okay. In, in the general sense, right, the word article actually has two meanings here as well. How's life? <laughs> now, 4 a.m. <laughs> I'm sleepy. 4 a.m.? Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> go to sleep. Yeah, very sleepy. <laughs> I know. It's your, you should uh, go to sleep soon. Yeah. After this class, maybe. Mm-hmm. Cool. Why in the class? <laughs> Then I I get sleepy more. I go to bed. <laughs> yeah, sure, no problems. Let's just let me know. You don't have to. Uh, don't worry about it. If you leave suddenly, I'll, I'll know that you went to class or that you went to sleep. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, no problems. Um, uh, your arm feels better, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. That's great. And when are you? What's your? What are your plans for tomorrow on Monday morning after you wake up? Tomorrow? Yeah. Oh. Ah, tomorrow is already today. <laughs> oh, that's what I meant. Yeah. Monday, you, Monday yeah. morning. What will you do later today then? Uh, at first, I need to go to that clinic again. Uh -huh. And are they going to remove your bandage maybe? or? Yeah. The uh -huh. Italian restaurant, as usual. <laughs> nice. Nice. Italian restaurant after that. <laughs> are you going to grab any gelato? Mm -hmm. yeah, they already prepared something for me, so I need to go to Italian oh, that's, restaurant. That's great, that's great. Is it is it close to your home? Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, very This close. restaurant? About 10 minutes by foot. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, fantastic. Awesome. Uh, and... and uh, one second, Heidi. I'm sorry. I'm just sending this. Um, so ten ten minutes away by email, uh, by foot, and um, or on foot. You can say by foot, on foot. Um, when do you think you will be fully? When do you think they'll remove the bandage, completely remove everything? Everything will be great. Oh no, I uh, bandage. Yeah, only bandage. But I think we need less. In English, it can be. It can be something that we read, like a newspaper article. It can be some kind of a magazine article, right? Those are all different types of articles. But in the sense of grammar, article actually means uh, three types of three words actually are considered articles in English, right? So these three words are the or the, depending on how you want to pronounce it, a and at, right? So the or the a. I'm sorry, a and an. I'm sorry, not at. My apologies. A and N, right? And there are interesting ways that we use these these and articles that sometimes can be confusing because there are different rules as to how we use them, and other times they they follow the rules very perfectly. So it's a challenge with English that sometimes the rules that we use are not always followed, and we have exceptions to the rules all the time, right? So. To, to begin, also, and we're going to be talking about travel, right? So I wanted to ask you, Muhammad, what do we, what are some of your daily habits? You know, when you when you travel, for example, what are some of the things that you do when you travel? Now let's 
maybe let's think about the last time you went outside of Jeddah, you went to Riyadh, yeah. you know. Yes, uh, usually when I go, you know, it's uh, different from my routine in, in, in my house here in Jeddah, I mean, uh, regional uh, destination. But when I go outside, you know, you really want to enjoy yourself. So, uh, first of all, you sleep and you wake up whenever you wake up, you know. You wake up maybe in the noon time or the after. Then after, uh, or maybe early in the morning, what I'd like to have, you know, after the f I pray the Fajr time. Sure, Then sure. I, I, I go, I have breakfast in the hotel. Then after that, you know, I go, I have, uh, also I sleep for until the noon time. Then after I pray Al-Dhuhr, Al-Asr to, together, then I go out for mm -hmm. shopping, as example. Uh, then I go, I like, uh, if I've been in Asia, I'd like to go to, to that food massage, you know, mm -hmm. that facility, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I love it, yeah. Then, then... I have restaurants. restaurants. I think. So, yeah, we wanted to go to a restaurant called La Volcano, uh, and it was a Japanese-style restaurant, and they were they sell Japanese curry. Mm -hmm. I I never had Japanese curry before, is it? <laughs> What kind of food? What kind of food is it? You are professional of curry. <laughs> I know, I know. We have Indian curry, right? I mean, uh, is it is it common? Because even in the United States, we don't see Japanese curry. Honestly, mm -hmm. they they sell. For example, let me show you the or let me share the recipe with you because uh, not the recipe, the the menu with you because I am so I was so surprised by the food because I didn't think Japanese people ate curry. You know, this was the restaurant. Britain brought curry to England, right? Yeah, I think so. They brought it. From, yeah, I think. England, uh, the Britain developed the curry, like uh, that way. Uh -huh. And uh, so the soup stock mixed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they say they say katsu, katsu. Katsu is a uh, fry. Katsu means fry. Okay, mm -hmm. that's so interesting. Because here, from what I was looking at, katsu, they use the word katsu as a way of describing... Uh, katsu curry. Yeah, katsu curry. Everything from yeah, katsu yeah. curry. Yeah. It was very interesting. For us. I don't know for you. <laughs> I, we ended up not going to this restaurant. I want to go maybe maybe another day. Uh, but uh, this today I didn't go, or yesterday I didn't go here because I just didn't have... Um, uh, I didn't have a need to go, so I just. But maybe you can't eat it, right? Because uh, if it has, if it has, beef, if it has beef is okay. If it's uh, pork, I can't have pork. And yeah. Cut is the pork. Oh, some cuts was pork. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can't have pork if it's pork. But if it's chicken, that's the best, really. Mm -hmm. Maybe if there's chicken curry of some kind. But the menu says, for example, chicken karaage. That's a sandwich, though, actually. Karaage is a sandwich. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Oh, fried chicken. Okay, Japanese okay. style. Tasted so, so. Mm -hmm. The bandage is kind of needless? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Only bandage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have any cut, so. Mm -hmm. Only inside the bone got cut, broken. But uh, skin are not cut, so I can remove it. Uh huh. Interesting. That's that's good to know. And uh, what about? I was thinking about the other. So, still a one month left before you start all of the the New Year celebration work, right? So this mm -hmm. one month. Does anything happen in this one month in Japan? The November, December period. Mm hmm. Is there are there any big celebrations or vacations for people? I don't think so, right? In Japan, no celebration so far. Mm -hmm. On 23rd, uh, next month, December is the uh, Emperor's birthday, so mm -hmm. it's a holiday. Emperor's birthday is the 23rd, okay. Yeah. And then Christmas is the 25th, and then yeah. New just Year's is... Just before Christmas Eve. <laughs> just before Christmas Eve, yeah. And then December 31st is New Year's Eve, and then yeah, January 1st is New Year's. Mm -hmm. So it's a busy time. Are there is, there... is it a big shopping time right now in Japan? Lots of sales? Ah, Lots of no. shopping? Maybe uh, in the New Year's Day, uh, after New Year's Day, the sales mm -hmm. will start. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. That's that's great. There are um, 
there are some few uh, there are a few Japanese places yesterday when I was traveling to San Francisco I went to San Francisco and the the, the weather was absolutely gorgeous I mean when we saw the Pacific Ocean we went on top of a mountain and we were driving down and we, we turned the car right and yes. as soon as we turned the car we saw the Pacific Ocean this magnificent ocean right yes. And the sun was just the sun was falling on the ocean, and the the, the brightness yes. of the water was incredible. And yeah, San Francisco is a very beautiful city. Yeah, and right near the that place, near the Golden Gate Bridge, and near some of those other areas, there are a lot of Japanese.